Hello everybody, I'm in potato mode and today is a LARP box. So let's delve right in. Um, I hear jingle jingle, so I'm guessing we got coins again of some sort. So let's open it up. I don't know which box this would be because I know he announced elves was going to be a repeat and I think that's this one. Oh, that doesn't help very much. Um, there's that and this was on top and it says it's mercenary. I completely forgot this was a theme. Um, I never play characters like this, so I, it's, I never crosses my mind. So let's delve in and look at all of this shiny loot. Um, I'm looking for, huh, let's go one step at a time then. This is usually what LARP box essentials comes in, but there is no LARP box essentials in here. It is coinage. It looks like a sample pack of each coin that that company makes. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe that'll explain it, the little card. And then we got the Mark of the Sales Sword. No. Uh, Mark of the Sales Sword. And it is a LARP box item made by Lau Boyer. Um, this badge mark marks you as a sales sword. Your trade, your skills in combat for coin, and loyal only to yourself and those you choose to follow. You're not picky about who you fight for, as long as it's for the right price. And it's available at www.lartbox.com. At least that's what that says. I like this. This is actually really cool. It's unique. Um, this would work for another character that actually this could work for. Um, let's see. Um, let's do the obvious, which is these. These are two leather bracers, and these feel a lot heavier than the last ones that we got. Um, they feel really nice. They feel far more durable than the other ones. So this will be fun. And let's see, did they come with cord? Yes. Okay, so this is the cord for them. So very, very nice. I like this. I like it a lot. And it's way thicker than the last pair. If I had the other pair next to me, I would show you guys. But this is way nicer. We have a left and a right. So yay. Now, let's get this out of the way. It is another throwing knife. This says a thrust knife. Um, and it is by Epic Armory, probably. That's usually where he gets these from. Um, but it's another throwing knife. It looks kind of like the ones you magicians use when they do the rotating table thing. So yes, and I think that's the Epic Armory logo. I can never remember what that stuff looks like. So there's that. And then we have this pouch of stuff, which this is the LARP box essentials. That's kind of weird. They put this in such a big pouch. So you get a nice big pouch, which this is very usable with the first thing, which is new electro lights. So this is a hydration tablet. So this is a strawberry lemonade natural flavoring. So I'm gonna guess these are just tablets that you drop in, but yeah, it says just drop into a uh, 16 fluid ounces, includes 10 tablets. That's cool. Um, I'm happy this is a little, so I'm happy that this is different than the last time. And we have earplugs again. And let's see what else is in here. Oh, and two more warming hand pads, which these do come in handy quite a bit, which I'm happy to have those. And let's see, yep, there's the noon hydration tablets, hand warmers, earplugs, an extra large draw bag. So that's nice. Um, I don't quite know why, but well, the reason it says is extra large drawstring bag, a bigger bag than usual. I think it hits better with the mercenary theme to have this, to have a small stuff sack for. So that's nice. Thank you, Chrissy. Um, again, I wish that this service was a separate service over the normal LARP box. Um, it just doesn't feel complete. So let's read the little slip and see everything. So this is the LARP box essentials, which is nice. An epic armory thrusting knife. So I was right. So we have a little, I mean, this is, you could use it as a throwing knife if you wanted to. Um, let's see. Norse foundry coins, which I was right. So these are $7.750. For those. Um, let's see the the seal, which is eight bucks, and the LARP box essentials. So those are what you get in the regular budget box. For Premiere, the only thing added on are the bracers, which he's quoting as seventy dollars. Uh, I don't know if I would have paid seventy bucks for these. Um, I know hide's expensive, but that being said, there isn't too much special about this. I feel like you could have found a random person that does leather working and gotten them for 40 or 50. But that being said, it's 
they're not bad quality. They're ten times better than the last one's quality. So maybe they're worth it. Maybe they're not. We'll see what happens after a few LARP wears and how long they last. That's more my thing. Then for the legendary LARP box, they got the Epic Armory Triple Knife Holder. So I've never seen this one, but I'm pretty sure this is cool. Uh, one of the Epic Armory's most recent releases as of November 2018. This axe makes a great sidearm for three your B3 LARP pistol. Perfect for zombies, vampires, ghouls, and whatever else you come across. So, I mean, it's cool. It sounds interesting. I'll have had put a picture over this. Then there's the Epic Armory Thrust Knives times two, um, which I'm guessing this is exactly what we just got. Yeah, it's, they say it's 20 bucks. And then the last one is the Epic Armory Leather Brigadine. I think this might be a single most expensive item I've ever had in a Legendary Lart box. It makes an excellent base for mercenary clit and has a lot of armor coverage while being pretty adjustable for the wearer. I also like that it opens in the front because when you're tired at the end of the day, it's easy to take off. Now, I will not have a picture. Oh, no, yeah, I will. It's Epic Armory. Um, I don't know what that looks like. It sounds interesting, but it is what it is. And then it's signed by Bart Brise, Head Deals, Warlocks, and Lark Box. So, cool. I know Bart's getting ready to move, so I don't know if there's going to be delay on next month's boxes or not. I don't know. Um, as far as the legendary box goes, from what I know off the top of my head, unless the Brigadine is really good, I don't think the legendary box for me was worth it this time. Uh, the triple knife holder I think is cool. I think that is a nice thing, but I don't know if it would be worth it for me. I mean, this budget box honestly felt really light this month. I, I don't know what I'm... It feels like it's missing something. I'm thinking back to when this first started, and I think for something like Mercenaries, it's hard, but it would have been nice to have gotten this and a leather pouch instead of this one that the normal stuff comes in for LARP box essentials. And the bigger pouch I think is cool, but I don't know. I think that would have been better for the Wanderer's box. I think that was the theme for the one I'm thinking of. It, it just feels incomplete. It feels like it's missing something just to make it perfect for it. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, if you guys are interested in the service, I'll have it linked down below. I do encourage you to check it out. You can check out my other videos if you're kind of on the fence about it. I've been doing this for close to two years now with this service. And I'm excited to see what'll change with the next box, which I think should be elves. I'm not quite sure. Uh, it should be here in time for my birthday. So yeah, if you guys have... Any questions or comments, shoot them down below. Give me a like, a favorite, subscribe, share this with a friend who likes LARPing, and I'll talk to you guys later. Do you Bye. like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!